Hi everyone. So today we go on 12.4, the normal distribution. So the normal distribution is the object recognize the character, uh, characteristic norm distribution and understanding um, 69, 95, 99.7 rule and find the score at specific number of the standard deviation from the mean using the six um six nine ninety five ninety nine point seven rule convert the data item to the z store understand percentile and put a uh put a quote tell uh using the interpreter image the error recognized distributions um are not normal so the normal distributions is all um this called a bell shape. You see this, this one like the bell shape for this. Every every single one, every single one. See, that is the bell shape for this. Um, or the Ga um the Gaussian distribution norm distribution is the bell shape. It's a symmetry, uh, about a vertical line through the center. So you see this. And they have the vertical line in the two center, something like this. You see this? That is the vertical form, like left center. Um, mean, median, mole, and the um quarter is located at the center distributions. So the norm distribution continues. So we see this. You see that either one, the curve, they go all the way up. Or something, but this the mean that this the symmetry line or divide of a two equal one. So the shape of the uh the norm distribution depend on the mean and standard deviation. There is the three paragraphs uh, above for here have the same mean, but the standard deviation and the standard de deviation increase. The distribution become more spread out, uh, but remain a symmetry bell. So you see this. So this uh the standard deviation more increase, so they more spread out, right? So it's more spread out for this. So we have the standard deviation, um, the standard deviation and the rule for 90 um 68, 95, 99.7 rule. So first uh approximate. 68% rule data follow within one standard deviation and mean in the both decrease. So first approximate like 68% from here, from here to here, here, see, that is 69%. So the standard deviation with, with one standard deviation and one of each. And for the second approximated 95% um, of the data um, items, for within two standard deviation of the mean. See this, this line right here. That is the 95% of standard deviation. So from here to here, we have like two standard deviations of the mean. And the third one is the approximate, um, approximately for 99.7% of the uh, data um, item for and within uh, three standard deviation. So the last one right here. So you see this, the mean standard deviation is three going um, forward, you know, like I spread out for both. <clears throat> so for sample, for sample, so um, uh, finding the score of specific standard deviations of the mean. So the male adults high in the North America so in the North America, it's the approximate norm, uh, approximate norm distribution with the mean is 70 inches and the standard deviation is four inches. So five, the height of two standard deviations above of the mean. So um, as we know, we have, um, let me type this in for you and you can see this. So we have um, height, height equal mean 
it go mean uh, plus it go mean plus um, two time standard deviation standard deviation So uh, the high is mean uh, time for standard deviation. So um, so this one should be the mean is seventy time uh, plus uh, two time for standard deviation because two standard deviations times four. So this one is seventy plus eight. So this one is seventy eight percent. So oh seventy eight the height. So that is the standard deviation for um for the height. So um still is the continue using the same rule. So we um we using um you know like start for all the standard deviation for adult people. So now we can have um we can have this. So we can have um we can have this. So use the distribution distributions of male adult. Um, adult height. Oh. Adult height <clears throat> in the figure. To find the <clears throat> to find a percent percentage of men of men in North. America uh, with um height with height between with height between uh fifty six inch inches and seventy four inches. Okay. <clears throat> and um we still have the same thing. So using the um the sixty seven, ninety five, ninety nine point nine rule of continue for solution. So we have um So we have this, I can increasing for this. So we have um the uh the sixty-eight, ninety-five, ninety-nine point seven. 
maybe I can I increase this one maybe more so you can see it kind of okay ninety seven uh forty seven rule at approximate sixty seven of sixty eight percent of the of the data items uh, for resting one standard deviation Four of mean seventy seventy. Okay, so um, so you mean mean. Minus one time standard deviation. So standard deviation, standard deviation. Uh, This one should be equal seventy minus one times four, so equal sixty six and mean plus. One time standard D V A shun. So standard deviation equal seventy plus one time four ego seventy four so we have sixty eight percent of male uh, right. between 66 and 74 inches. So let me try to highlight this. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So you will see this and compute the Z data, compute the Z score or the Z score. A Z score describes how many standard deviation um, data data item in the normal distribution like um, above. Um, or below the mean. 
that this score can be obtained using. So see this score equal data item minus mean over standard deviation. The data um, item above mean the positive, have a positive Z score. The data um, below mean have the negative Z score. Um, and the Z score is mean is zero. So we have an example. Compute the Z score. So um, so this one, they said the norm distribution way for the new newborn infant. Um, so we have um, six pile in infant and is 1.25 standard deviation above the mean. So this one, the mean, the means mean like a mean can be zero or, uh, at a seven. That's the average, right? So the A, um, a nine pile infant, um, infant is two point two five standard deviation above the mean. So this one, so they go in here and they go in there. So now, um, what does that mean by this? What does that mean by this? So we have, so we have the weight or the mean, the mean weight. of newborn, newborn infant is seven pounds and the standard and the standard deviation Asian is 0 0.8 pound and um, the Weight of newborn infant are normal, normally distribution. Normal this is to root the normal distribute and find the by the Z score by the Z score for a weight of Nine pounds. Okay. Uh, okay. So we have a solution. Uh, when we see this. When we see this, you see this, um, the mean is night or seven, but the standard deviation of this one is 
zero point eight, right? So the z, the z score. So we have um. So we have right here. We have so hmm. okay, so the mean. is seven and the standard and the standard and the deviation standard deviation is Zero point eight. So, uh, the Z score, Z score, we can reading by reading uh, Z. Uh, let me see. Do so they have a smaller one on the bottom? Z. So nine. Yes. Z nine. Yes. So we have. So what? So Z nine. Yes, we have. Yes. So now we have Z9 equal data item minus mean over uh, standard deviation. So we have we have what nine minus seven over zero point eight. So we have two point zero point eight, or we have two point five. So this one is two point five. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, understanding for the example in challenge and the question IQ. Uh, we have another example. IQ on the stand for binary intelligent test um, are the normal distribution with the mean is 100 and standard deviation is 16. What is the IQ correct the Z score minus 1.5? So we have this one. Um, the negative sign by in is minus fifteen. Oh, um, the sign in is minus one point five, not fifteen, because they have the z score right there. Um, time. For the standard deviation, time for the standard deviation, um, uh, 
Oh, sorry. I got the wrong one. Um, 1.5. So this one will tell us, tell us that the I Q S. Half or oh, one half, one half. So one half standard deviation below. the mean so below the mean so the score equal mean minus One point five time standard deviation so it's mean so one hundred minus. 1.5 times 16. Equal 100 minus 24. So equal this one is 76. And the IQ correction or correspond, corresponding to a Z score, to a Z score of minus 1.5 is 76. So percent tau. Percentile and a quantity. Percentiles, if n percent of the item is the distributions are less than a, a particular data item, we say that the data item is n percentile of distributions. Um, so, or the quantity divides the data set into the four quarter um, of 25 percentiles. And the first percentile 25 that follow uh, for the first quarter as the fifth, uh, the 50 percentile, and the second quarter and the third, um, the third one is 75 percentiles. So the percentiles with this percent for the, the device are for the percent and, and percent. So you see this. So this one as the first percentile or the number 25 percentile. The second, that is the median. And the third one, that is the, um, the third quarter percentile or um 75%. And all the rest is that the 100%. So we can see all this stuff. So a percentile interpretation for the Z-score using the Z-score and the table 
Uh, so you can find percentile of the data at less than any data normal distribution. The normal distribution mean the data um, mean uh, mean the median and the mole um, all have corresponding the z the score of um, of zero and there is a fifty percent tell does fifty percent of the data get a rated than equal to mean median and the mole. So we can have a pull at the mention of the error. Uh, the uh, statistic can use the probability of the norm distribution uh, to estimate the probability that we thought um, obtained from the single symbol reflected truly um, happen. So if n is the percent uh, symbol size, then 95% probability that light on one over square root of n of the two population statistic. Uh, so plus and minus one over square root of n times for 100%, that's called image of the arrow, merchants of an arrow. Uh, for example, use the interpretation uh, merchant arrow in the random sample, 1172 um, children, eight of six through 14, 17% 14, of the children say, uh, get the boss around and the bat is the about that's the key. So um, verify the uh, merchant's error. So we have um, so we have what? So we have um, right here. I can copy this. Let me copy this really quick. Let me copy this one really quick. So this one. A screenshot, copy, and I can paste in here, paste in here, paste in here. Okay, I can paste in there. Okay, so equal plus minus one over square root of eleven. 72 right here uh, time for 100%. So this one approximately plus and minus 2.9%. After we do, op after we do all the calculation should be, that's right there. That's right there. So for B, write a statement about a percent of a children who feel that getting boss around is the bad thing about a kid. So we can write out a statement for this one. How do we do it? Okay, so now we can do it right now. So um, there is a 95% probability probability that the two population uh, population percent touch lines between uh line between uh seventeen percent minus two point nine percent so this one equal is 14 14.1 percent mm, and 17 percent plus 2.9 percent 
2.9% go 19.9% so uh, so we have so we have 14% 14.1% and 19.9 percentage for this. Uh, so all the tie up distribution, this graph represents the population distributions of the weekly um, earning in the United States. There is no upper limit on the weekly earning. So, um, you see this graph that represents for the population distribution earning. So this one, the median or mean right here or more. So they don't have the higher um, limit or the upper limits. The relative few um, people uh, with very high weekly income for the mean income value rather than the median, the most frequent income and the more occur towards the low and the end of the data item. This is called skirt distribution uh, because the loss numbers of the data item are apply up, up, up on the end of the order with the tails and uh, on the end. The, um, so the wrap and to the right, right here, the scalp. So this one is the wrap, the scalp wrap. For this. All right, so thank you very much for this, and we're done for this one. Thank you.